This is your Lead Left podcast for the week of May 25th. I'm Randy Schwimmer. Welcome back. We continue our special series on high yield bonds with a look at more deals in the market with our tour guide, Matt Fuller of Left Fit Insights. Northwest Fiber came out with a loan bond buyout of Frontier Communication Assets. This could grease the skids for other regular way LBOs. Another flagship deal was for Viking Cruises. Launched as a $675 million five-year issue, the bonds were secured by a first lien of 20 riverboats, while in pricing was almost 14%. Also sailing along was Royal Caribbean, still with investment grade status. The company sold 3.3 billion of secured bonds. And just this week, Macy's debuted as a fallen angel, floating five-year 838 secured notes. Transaction met with heavy interest for a storied brand and credit backed by real estate. Supply demand is also affecting spreads. The S&P High Yield Index has compressed yield to worse to about 7.2%. That may be supporting primary issuance, despite the higher cost demanded of falling angels. U.S. Steel is one example, closed on a billion dollars of five-year secured notes at 12%. COVID has created a new class of issuers whose credit ratings have slumped in the face of challenged earnings, Matt Fuller reported. Two funds are helpful to watch, ANGL, which is the largest angel fund, and FALN, the second largest. Compare the average index yield to worse now of 7.2% to the 11.4% on March 23rd, the height of market volatility. High yield bond spreads today are at Treasuries plus 675. That's with the 10 year Treasury at 0.7. Recent volatility has exaggerated the spread basis. Back in December of 08, all in yields gapped out to over 22%. Next week, we conclude our bond series with a comparison to leverage loans. Reporting from the all in return room at the lead left, this is Randy Schwimmer, wishing you and your families a very safe and healthy week. Hey Jen, only two more weeks of school for the girls. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs>